so guys in today's video i'll be telling you all how the uk maternity pay works the uk maternity allowance your eligibility how to claim when to apply and you know everything about it so if it's something you are interested in make sure you watch this video to the end to find out all about that hey guys how you all doing today hope you guys are doing great my name is tochi if you're seeing my face for the first time and you are welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be telling you all how the uk maternity pay works if you're yet to subscribe to my channel what are you waiting for please subscribe to my channel hit that subscribe button now and you won't regret it i assure you and to all my returning subscribers thank you guys so much for watching my videos thank you all thank you all for the engagement for your support i really appreciate god bless so if your visa allows you to live and work in the uk then you might just be entitled to maternity leave all right you might be entitled to maternity pay okay or maternity allowance whichever that you are due for so who is eligible for this allowance now there are two great criteria that you must fulfill for you to be eligible for this allowance the first one is employer criteria and the second one is your earnings okay so guys for the employment criteria okay you must be employed by the same employer for at least 26 weeks into the 15th week of the week your baby is due what this simply means is that you must have been employed by the same employer for a while okay to be qualified for your maternity pay and then for the earnings guys you must earn at least 120 pounds a week to be qualified for this maternity pay so guys if you're coming to the uk you know as a woman on your own to join your spouse or you know however means you're coming to the uk i just want to you know put it out there that you should know your rights you should know that this is your right and that you're entitled to a maternity pay or a maternity allowance okay now some women you know are pregnant already and they are just wondering okay how am i going to come what am i going to do in the uk and some people are just you know almost due some people are almost due you know before coming so in that scenario you might not really be entitled to maternity pay or maternity allowance because of course you may not you know have met this criteria like if you're coming into the uk you know not being pregnant i would advise you that you try to get a job as soon as you enter the uk before getting pregnant that's just my advice of course you know we know that we know how these things work it might it might be something you didn't plan it might just happen but my advice my sincere and honest advice to you is that if you're coming to uk if you're coming in just try and get a job you know before you get pregnant and then if by chance you get pregnant immediately you arrive in the uk just make sure you get a job as soon as possible for you to be entitled to maternity allowance at least okay now i'm going to tell you the difference between the maternity allowance and the maternity pay you know as we continue in this video so getting that pay is everything imagine staying at home you know for nine whole months and getting paid for it guys you don't know what that money can do for you guys you know how uk can be just living or depending on just one person's allowance you know does not even do the job in the uk there are so many bills to be paid all right so that's your allowance that maternity allowance of maternity pay that you get for nine whole months oh my god is everything and i would advise every woman to do everything they can to be eligible for this pay now how do you claim your maternity pay all right it's very simple you just you know tell your employer when you want your maternity pay to start when you want them to start paying you and you must give them at least 28 days notice to whenever you want your pay to start and that's it and then you must provide the must be one form okay to your employer that form is what you get from your midwife or your doctor stating when your baby is due okay once you register for your atenanta you register with a midwife you know you can just ask them for a must be one form and they will give it to you freely they'll just give it to you and they will write you know their name and when your baby is due your due dates that's what you take to your employer and submit to them whenever you're applying for your maternity pay that's all you need okay that's basically like your medical evidence that you're actually pregnant and that you're expecting a baby on the due dates you know coming from your doctor it's just the evidence that you need okay now coming to the most important part like the money part how much is this maternity pay that we're talking about okay so how much you're paid during your maternity leave depends on your employer 
but there is a guideline okay so this maternity pay is for like 39 weeks roughly nine months okay so now for the first six weeks some people pay 90 percent of your normal salary like what you get you know while you were working your normal pay most people get 90 percent of it what you get monthly or what you get weekly now for the remaining 33 weeks some people pay 90 percent of your income or the normal you know there's a standard rate of 151 pounds weekly so whichever is less that's what they pay you for the remaining 33 weeks so simply put for the first six weeks you'll be paid 90 percent of your regular income okay and then for the remaining 33 weeks you'll be paid either you're paid the normal rate the standard rate of 151 pounds weekly or the 90 percent of your weekly income you know simply put what this means is that if you earn more than 151 pounds a week You'll be giving 151 okay there's no how you're going to be earning more than 151 for the remaining 33 weeks so that's simply what this means okay. so yeah that's that for that and that is for those who are qualified to be paid by their employer okay and then for this second category of people who somehow they meet up you know to the conditions of getting paid by their employer but somehow met up with the criteria to be paid by the government you'll be giving a maternity allowance okay you'll be paid maternity allowance that's what it's called and that is from the government all right so i'm going to be telling you how to apply for that now in this video okay the first step is to inform your employer that you're pregnant and then you give them the must be one form like i mentioned earlier that you got from your midwife or your doctor or whichever and then they will just work out and see if you're qualified for this maternity pay for the statutory maternity pay and then if you're not qualified like maybe if you didn't meet up with their criteria they would inform you and then they will give you an smp form one okay your employer will give you an smp form one for you to apply to the government for your maternity allowance okay so this is where you now apply to the government for your maternity allowance you would either download the form from uk websites okay or you you know go to their websites and request for them to send you a hard copy they will you fill in your address and they will send a hard copy to your house and then you fill that form that was sent to you and then attach the smp form one that you got from your employer and that smp form one from your employer would state the reason why they are not paying you statutory maternity pay and that is basically that you didn't meet up with their criteria you didn't work with them for a long time you know to be qualified for that so they would state the reason actually why they are not paying you so you attach that smp form to that you know the form that you got from the government website and then you attach your must be one form and then you attach your pay slips they usually ask for 13 weeks pay slips 12 weeks or 13 weeks pay slips okay you attach that to the form and you send it back to them they'll look at all those things and then of course in the form you have your account number and everything in the form you will feel when you want them to start paying you you know basically you will just fill in the forms and put in most informations that you require in the form and you send it back to them okay they will send you a letter or a note or a text message immediately telling you they've acknowledged the form they've received it and then they'll get back to you okay now the thing is that whenever you tell them that you want them to start paying you that's exactly when they will start paying you of course in the form they will ask you if you want them to pay you monthly or you want them to pay you weekly however you want them to pay you that's how they're going to pay you for nine months that's 39 weeks they will definitely pay you if you are eligible they'll check out everything you send to them they'll look at your pay slips. that's why they're asking for your pay slips you must have at least three months pay slips at least three months you must have worked for at least four months okay to be entitled to government maternity pay that's why i'm advising you once you get into the uk you know just try and get a job before you get pregnant try but even if you get pregnant immediately you come just try and get a job too to be qualified for maternity allowance it's very important i can imagine the stress of people who come to the uk you know you're pregnant you come to uk you didn't get a job and all of that and then when you give birth to your baby you're staying at home for nine whole months you're not getting any money you're just depending solely on your partner it doesn't really make sense you guys will be struggling at that period yeah the maternity pay might not be much but it's something okay it's something like it goes a long way to help your family 
all right so please just try as much as you can you know to get that maternity pay so that that money will not pass you by okay, like you come in you're pregnant you know you come in while you're pregnant of course you can't really get a job or something you're you know you, you've gone into your pregnancy like maybe you're tired or you can't really take up a job and then you have to put to bed okay understandable but if you come in here just try and get a job before you get pregnant okay and then if you get pregnant try and get a job as well at least for you to have worked for six months before the birth of your child for you to be entitled to maternity pay it goes a long way and then you're sure that after you have your baby you have a job you're going back to if you want to change fine if you want to go to another job fine but then you've enjoyed this maternity pay for nine whole months it's something they pay you 151 pounds weekly now check it can you actually compare getting 605 pounds every month for nine whole months for not doing anything at all for just you know taking care of your baby and relaxing at home or not getting anything at all so you can imagine how far that money can go what that money can do for you and your family so please try and get it okay and then also make sure you inform them that you're pregnant inform your employer that you're pregnant okay nobody would despise you or nobody would you know cut you out of getting a job that you're qualified for simply because you're pregnant nobody does that here they treat women they treat everybody equally in fact if you inform them that you're even pregnant they'll give you this risk assessment form and then they'll start treating you specially in fact there are some jobs that you're not expected to do okay there are some jobs that you're not expected to do they would even you know give you simpler and easier jobs they would treat you with respect okay so please make sure you inform them that you're pregnant whilst applying for a job and try like i said earlier try and apply or try and get a job as soon as you get pregnant and if you can just wait for one or two months after you're into the job before you get pregnant for you to be qualified for your maternity pay okay so like i said you're paid the same way and time as your monthly wages okay they would ask you in the form you're feeling how you want your salary to be paid if you want it weekly or you want it monthly and that is how you will be paid if you can't get the smp that's the maternity pay you can get the maternity allowance okay so just make sure you've worked for at least six months you know before your due dates so they calculate it based on the date your baby is due to be born not actually the day you give birth to your baby so that is actually the essence of that must be one form so guys there are also some instances when this pay can be cut off okay like one if you get pregnant again like if you get pregnant while you're still in your maternity leave <laughs> of course now it won't work because you won't be eligible you've not worked for a while looking at the points we listed out earlier you know to how they check the eligibility like you must have been employed for a while and you must be earning at least 120 pounds weekly so looking at that if you get pregnant while you're still on maternity leave okay after that's your maternity leave after that nine months or 39 weeks that you apply for after that one then it's done except you get a job again and work and then you're qualified for the next maternity allowance and then secondly if you get a job another employer like if you change employer whilst you're still getting paid your maternity allowance will be cut off okay that is why you're still enjoying your maternity pay you're still on your maternity leave and you start another job with another employer they would cut off your maternity pay they would assume that you've gotten back to work and then you're being paid your normal regular salary so your maternity pay will be cut off they know all these things all these things are in their system they have your national insurance number every employer asks for that so you won't say probably you have stayed at home for six months like you've gotten your maternity pay for six months and you want to get another job so you'll be getting your maternity pay and you'll be getting paid for this your new job as well no 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 you can't cheat them you can't do that okay they will find out and once you start getting paid for the new job automatically your maternity pay or maternity allowance will be cut off there are also other conditions that can make them cut off your maternity pay but those ones are not really that important but i'm stressing the most important ones that you know are likely to occur so for you to have an idea of why or the reasons why your maternity pay can actually be cut off 
if you have any question just leave it in the comment section for me and i'll do well to answer them as soon as i can so remember for you to get your maternity allowance you would get your smp from your employer you'd fill it and attach your must be one your base list for 12 weeks and you put all those things together and then you submit to the government the workout and start paying you you're getting at least 605 pounds every month as your maternity allowance is the standard rate and that is it like the interesting thing is that you don't have to go to any office you don't have to go to anywhere you can stay in your house and apply for this thing and once it's time for them to start paying you like you requested you just see the money in your account like every month that money comes into your account for taking care of your child that's very interesting and so please everybody should try try as much as you can to get this maternity pay get it get it it goes a long way for you for your child for your family all right it's something that you would want to get like just like enjoying free money for nine more months that's how i see it so yeah that's it guys for this video thank you so much for watching if you liked it remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't give it a thumbs up share this video so others can benefit from it as well thank you so much for watching once again guys and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye bye